What is going on everyone? It's Brody back again to answer another tennis question and today's tennis topic is going to be about the pros and what kind of racket do they use. The main question being do they use a head heavy racket or do they use a head light racket? Now when we mortal players watch tennis professionals play our great sport we are in awe of what they're able to do, the tweeners, all the different special types of shots and just how powerful these people are and how much they have mastered the game. So one of the main things that you have to realize is that because of how much power those people have just naturally from working on their strokes and knowing how they have mastered the art and craft of the sport, a lot of the times what they really need is more control. They need help to be able to pinpoint where they want to put their shot, whether it be by the just area of a dime or they want to use an entire length, say like the entire service box of the court. These professionals are masters of the craft and that's why a lot of the times they need to use a headlight racket. Now the reason that they use the headlight racket, like I was saying, is that head heavy rackets are very heavy. They're usually a bigger head size. And that means that while there is a bigger sweet spot, it's a lot harder to control because there's more area for error just hitting the racket in general. Now, these players are professionals. They've been playing this sport for years. They know how to hit the ball in the right spot, but the bigger the head size that they have, they're still just, even if they're that great, there's still room for error no matter who you are. So the more head light racket that they go to, it's typically a smaller head size, but since more weight is in the handle, they can really dictate and choose how fast and how slow they want to swing the racket. Swinging and following through with this racket is pretty simple because all of the weight being in the handle, that's where it really starts. Starting the swing typically is going to be the hardest part, but once they can get that done, they can really cut, they can really swing through the ball and make sure that they direct the ball to wherever target they are choosing. So head light rackets are really great for that as well as keeping the keep just keeping a more solid feel because they're typically heavier rackets which are then more stable. The more stable the racket is, the easier it is to direct shots as well as reflect power that's coming back at you because if you've seen some of these people, that their shots, they're going over 90 miles an hour at least. These are insane. So if you want to imagine something faster than a car on the highway coming at you and you have to deflect that in a matter of seconds, I feel like I would want something that's going to not be twisting around in my hand or just not be very flimsy. So that's where the head the head light rackets come in. That's where the pros are going. That's what they're using That for the most part. I can't speak for all the pros. I am not a tennis playing professional. That is not me. But from what I've seen of the rackets that a lot of them are using, they do tend to, to lean more towards the head light rackets rather than the head heavy rackets for a couple of different reasons like I explained here. So, with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like on it. Comment down below any more questions that you may have about these tennis rackets, as well as subscribe to the channel so that we can share this channel, this information with the people who need it. I saw a lot of tennis misinformation in the tennis community, and I took it upon myself to make sure that this channel would be the one to get rid of all that. So with that being said, leave a like. Comment down below, subscribe, share this video with a friend if they're really curious about this. It's a pretty quick video. There's not really much for me to say right now, so I'll just leave, I'll just leave it at all of that. And as always, take care.